Good day chaps. So today's video is going to be a bit different because it's not a tank but in my honest opinion it's just as cool. It's about the PBY Catalina and the rocket tests that were done. The Catalina or the consolidated PBY Catalina to give it its proper name needs little introduction as she was and remains one of the most famous aircraft in World War II rescuing hundreds of not thousands of downed pilots or survivors from sunken ships, while also attacking enemy ships and hunting submarines, and even delivering special operatives off the coastline of enemy territory, right under their noses. The incredibly durable Catalina could withstand horrific punishment and keep flying, and today, 87 years after their first flight, that remains true, and there are many Catalinas still flying about. But in this video, we're going to cover some relatively rare information on the cat, that I was able to find in the National Archives, and it's on the air-to-ground rockets fitted for submarine hunting. And while I never usually set out to find non-tank related stuff, it does have a horrible habit of cropping up all the time, and so I just filed it away for a rainy day. Anyway, queue a few years later and the topic of Catalinas comes up again, and I'm just dusting off the old images, and much to my surprise, it seems that these images are particularly rare and not found online, so I thought I'd share them with you. The Catalinas themselves carried a pretty large collection of weapons in World War II, from torpedoes to a large selection of bombs and depth charges. And in fact, a few posts are listed with the term rocket, but these are actually vertical anti-submarine rockets, which is simply a depth charge with a small rocket to counteract the plane's forward movement to ensure that the depth charge drops vertically down as it flies overhead, while other heavier depth charges could be mounted in pairs under the wings. The rockets in this test were fitted to two PBYs, at the top secret MAEE, or the Marine Aircraft Experimental Establishment, in Helensburgh, Scotland in 1943. With the first attempt on a Catalina 1B, serial number FP260, taking place on April 1st, 1943. But damage taken during the test sent it back to Saunders Row in Bumaris, North Wales, for repairs and modifications in June 43. A second Catalina 1B, serial number FP159, was also modified to fire the rockets. An FP-159 was quite a famous little Catalina. It was the same plane that shattered the famous Voodoo glider flights across the Atlantic in June 1943. 159 was also tested with her rockets, but this time on the 28th of September. However, sadly, this plane also was damaged during the test, and shortly afterwards they decided to discontinue the project. So what happened in these trials? Four RPs, or rocket projectiles, and the type and designation is never given, were fitted under each wing for eight in total. On the first aircraft, FP-260, the blast plate was around one foot six inches beneath the wing surface, and on the second vehicle, around two foot six inches, and both were fitted to prevent damage from the rocket's ignition. The first aircraft remained waterborne in testing, which was probably a sensible idea, and they initially fired the two outer rockets from each wing separately, and then the inner pair in a rapid salvo. This seemed to have gone quite well, with only very slight buckling to the blast plates recorded, and some slight flaking on the wing fabric, with no actual distortion. The second test was fired on full salvo of eight rockets, and this didn't fare as well, with much more buckling on the plate, loose rivets, and the doping on the wing being damaged and burnt. FP-159 also did some water tests, and while individual rockets fired did little damage, the full salvo did with damage mainly on the rocket spars itself and the canvas on the wings, although marked as not severe and easily repairable. A number of dummy attacks were then made with the aircraft in a 20 degree dive, loaded to 29,000 pounds with four 250 pound depth charges, eight rockets, full ammunition and half fuel. These trials proved quite successful and it was recorded that the Catalina was a suitable platform for anti-submarine RP work. The only other noted issues were the modified pilot site needed to have some padding to prevent injury if he was pushed into it, and it prevented the hatch above the pilot being opened unless the site was first folded away. The second minor issue was that the current bomb loading trolley was not suitable for rearming the Catalina. However, the rockets were easily loaded by somebody in a dinghy in the water, something that could not be done with larger bombs. The final conclusion was that the trailing edge of the Catalina 1B wing was not strong enough to withstand RP firing, and it was recommended that a strengthened wing be designed and ground testing trials be done if any further development was required. Otherwise, the RP installation on the Catalina appeared suitable. 
As to the planes themselves, the slightly more famous FP-159 was sadly scrapped in 1946, and the other one I can find no record of her demise, but it was likely the same. Well, that's all for today guys. It was just one of those many oddities in the archives and something somebody may find useful. If you like this or you want more unusual stuff that turns up, do let me know below. But until next time, toodle pip.